Welcome back to God of War. We're now at the main area of the game proper after a bunch of early game stuff. We're on the island of the Sisters of Fate, who basically the entire plot is to go back in time, recruit the Titans before they got captured, and get our godly powers back. Time wow. travel? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I, I said that the that, that, that it's not a very good story, but it is a good video game story, you know? It's like, don't, just don't think about it too much. Although that mentality really clashes with the wow, super serious storytelling bent that the new God of War is going for. Uh, you well, know what? Yeah. If I, okay, here's, here's my thing, though. If I was Kratos, I would just go back in time and save my wife and kid from getting <laughs> killed. And then, you know, none of this would have happened, you know? Like everything would like I mean Kratos isn't that bright. I mean I guess yeah, but then he'd still be under the servitude of Ares. Yeah, but okay, so here's because that happened before he killed us. Uh, like, yeah, the, the the reason he killed his his wife and kid was because Ares tricked him into doing it. So well, then I would have I would have then go back in time and stop yourself from teaming up with Ares. I don't know. Like, but then he died uh, by the barbarians. I don't think so, it, yeah. That, no, it's like Kratos travels back in time. He's like, listen during this barbarian swing left instead of swing right. well you know the obvious the obvious the obvious thing to do would be to go back in time and kill Ares in the past so that you know he doesn't trick Kratos into killing his family but the problem with that is it would be Kingdom Hearts chain of memories <laughs> so you created a time paradox well the, 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 like, the, the, the thing is is that whenever they introduce anything time travel related my uh, to solve a problem that's their immediate problem I always just wonder like I actually thought this back when uh, the Harry Potter had the time turner thing I was just like okay why don't you just turn that thing 20 million times and then save your parents Harry like, well, they it's never, not, they never. Like, I don't I'm, think it's, I don't think it's directly stated, but I think the, uh, but I think the uh, time turner can only go back a, a series of hours, like because it's only ever used to go back a series of hours. And in fact, the the big plot element in the stupid stage play, which is terrible, um, is uh, <laughs> the, is that you know there's this special prototype time turner that can go back further than that, and oh, okay. they do actually go back to the day his parents died. Um, I'm guessing they don't, they don't save them, then. Well, uh, the 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 re they don't. The, the whole plot of the the play is that changing time causes some real bullshit to happen. Uh, so Harry actually winds up having to fight the villain to stop her from interfering in that same event. Yeah, because even if I mean I hate time travel. Yeah, so <laughs> because it, it's the, gonna... cause, you know to, to bring up what Ted was bringing up earlier. Why not just use the time turner thing to go back and save like Potter's parents? And see if you do that, you will create the situation where Harry would never need to turn the time back in the first place, which creates a fucking paradox out of my head. You see, I like, like the I I always I like the it was Dragon Ball that uh, probably not first, but the Dragon Ball method where it creates an alternate universe. Multiverse. Theory. Yeah, multiverse. Yeah. Or just that, like, one person remembers it or whatever. Yeah. Like, but, like, like, you know, the, the time travel in, in Harry Potter is dealt with so minimalistically, at least until the stupid stage play, that uh, it, it works. Like, it's, it, it, like, it, like, there are questions you can ask, but you can come up with pretty simple answers to them, like who saved Harry the first time before he traveled back in time. It's probably Snape, because they mention him showing up, like, right after that happens. But when does the play take place in the in the series? Uh, it's nineteen years later. Well, it starts nineteen years later and then jumps ahead a couple of years. Huh. Okay. Uh. But uh. Oh, geez, I hope it's been long enough since that stage play release that spoilers won't piss anybody off. <laughs> uh, spoiler warning. When uh, did it come out? Snape kills Dumbledore. <laughs> Uh, it came out months and months ago, I think, by now. Okay, I think at least a year, actually. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, like, you can only actually go watch the stage play if you're in the UK at this point. There's going to be a Broadway, Broadway version of it, um, like, next year. But apart from that, like, it, it's means, a shame, too. Which means because, you're like, going to wait, like, five years to see it if you don't live in New York. Yeah. <laughs> but apparently, it's like, it's, it's terrible as a story, but as a stage production, apparently it's excellent. So I'd actually like so to go watch it. So, so that it's I, more of a spectacle than anything else. You see, that sounds like Phantom of the Opera, actually, is if the story sucks, but the production values are really good. <laughs> Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark? Oh, no, Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark is just uh, abysmal. 
and you shouldn't ever. <laughs> what is that story about? Is that Spider-Man paying his electric bill? Uh, I got uh, the it's <laughs> green goblins in it. Uh, all I know is that a lot of people get injured because of the swinging shit that they have them do. Your electric bill is late, Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Probably I uh, would pay the bill. I don't know what the I don't know what the um what the story actually is, other than green goblins in it, and all of the Spider-Man actors got really really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, because I keep turning off the door. But, like, on the subject of time travel, uh, and this is something that I was considering fairly recently, and Harry Potter was the thing that made me realize it, but, like, time travel... A lot of people say time travel doesn't work logically, because... But the way I think of it, like, time travel just gets more illogical the further back in time or the further forward in time you travel, because the more time passes during the travel... Uh, the, uh, the more complex the repercussion should be. Yet when you're telling a story, you don't want those repercussions to be too complex because it either becomes impossible to really track how things became the way they are, which is the exact mistake the stage play made, actually, and, or... Really, Kratos? <laughs> it's a good thing I pulled if out a tangent now. Back in time. It seems like <laughs> the only that right the first time. Yeah, it, it seems the only time yeah, when people... Like... Are, oh, the, the, the only time... Where that that uh, effect doesn't get um, get to be too bad is when like the time travel creates like a dystopian dark universe where like everything's different and so that they don't really have to explain as much. Well, y y well, that's 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 the thing. Like like when that happens, like you're basically set setting up a situation where the time travel defies explanation by being so different that it would be a novel and a half itself to explain the series of events that sprung from that change. But at that point, it's a bit of a cop-out, because you probably don't know exactly why things became the way they were, so there's there's no structure to it. So yeah. it goes in the opposite direction. But if, if you're going to talk about, like, butterfly effect, effect ripples or time loops or whatever, the logic of it only really holds itself together over a very short span of time, like, say, a few hours. Yeah, like, there's no reason, for example, why, say, uh, this, I don't know if this actually happened. It probably did, but going back in time to stop Green Goblin makes it so that Doctor Doom ends up taking over the world. Like, the, it, that, it's so, they feel What's so the causality? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, granted, I don't think that ever actually happened, but there's, like, at least a 30% chance that it did. So, yeah, comic books. That baby is lunch. Just gonna say. <laughs> For Kratos, or...? The baby that just got taken away by a freaking eagle. Yeah, I know. The but eagles it, are coming. <laughs> yeah, but is it, it Kratos' lunch, or what? Well, it's... It's, it's the origins it, of Zeus. It's an, ironic, it's an ironic thing to point out, because that's exactly what happens to the babies here. Kronos eats them. Oh, Gross. Yeah. Well, the whole killing his kids thing. Yeah, when Zeus beats Kronos, he frees his brothers from Kronos' stomach. Don't ask me how that works. Oh yeah, because they don't digest. They don't. They don't digest. But here's a like a really important physiological question: How did this happen? Like seriously, how? Th that's his mother, right? So how? Yeah. That can't be possible. So you guys were joking about this earlier, but is Zeus actually Kratos' dad? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So we're trying to kill our grandpa. Okay, cool. No, we're trying to kill our dad. Zeus, you shouldn't ask that question about Greek stuff. Zeus is everyone's dad. Zeus is Wonder Woman's dad. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your daddy? Probably. Yeah, he really gets around. Who's your daddy? Probably <laughs> Zeus. <laughs> Give us some time, it'll probably fuck that rock once it grows up. But like, it's, it's not no, the idea of guys swimming in the ocean. It's no wonder so many it. people are, are raging assholes in Greek mythology, though. They all have really stunted childhoods. <laughs> like, <laughs> nobody has parents. <laughs> My parents are dead. Cool, get in line. <laughs> no, it's yeah, not see, even you know, that they're like, dead. Know, they're just know, absentee. Like, I, know, I, know, I know the baby. I know, I know like, the, the whole uh, switching the baby with the rock switcheroo is meant to be as a ruse. But, you know, I really feel for that rock. I mean, that rock is going to grow inside Kronos' belly, grow arms and legs, become a geo dude. <laughs> when you th well, when you when you think about it, Kronos is really just one big Goron.
Yeah, but does is the rock like shaped like a sirloin though? Is the is the real question? Because <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't taste as good until you until you sculpt it to make it look like a like a sirloin. Oh, I hate when that happens. When you hit something with a with a really big heavy attack and its attack just flows straight through the attack. Yeah, it has armor frames, which is not aggravating at all. Nope. Absolutely not. Armor frames. It's only good when I have armor frames. Armor frames are annoying in the sense that you can't predict them until you've walked into them. You know. Yeah. You see. You At which point it's already too late. You see, I heard you stumble there, and you said armor flames, and that just sounds awesome. <laughs> so. <laughs> <Yeah>. Speaking <laughs> of armor flames. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pardon my ing pardon my English, but you know, totally called it. What is this mode called? Rage uh, of the, the Titans. Rage of no, it's Rage of the Titans in this game. Was it Rage of? The oh, that's right. Okay, okay, okay. Right. So, yeah, you Did you get it from a Titan? It's Rage of Spartan. Next. We got it from Prometheus. Was Prometheus technically a Titan? I think. No. 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 no, no he was just a guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's just a guy. <laughs> he was the guy in the in versions of the Greekness. He is the guy who brought fire to people. I know that, but I don't know if he's a person or a Titan or what. No. In, in context of God of War, he was the guy we. Threw into the fire earlier on the icy area. Okay. And he has never seen or heard from again. Cool. I love it when games do that. What's the correlation, though? I mean, Prometheus dies in the fire. We get Rage of the Titans. Eh. Yeah. Huh? Oh, I, I guess he absorbed his power or something. What power? Oh. He was just a guy. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the thing. He was literally just a guy who snuck up on the mountain Olympus and stole the fire. Oh. Maybe he was in secret Prometheus Man, Robot Master. <laughs> <laughs> Developed by the Titans for the strict purpose of annihilating Zeus. Stumbled on the first block. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Spike's wall man got to, to him before he could <laughs> yeah. do his job. Sentenced to eternal damnation. Which I guess in the Mega Man universe is you continuously jumping left and right on uh, on disappearing rear brain blocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you um, you always get just enough uh, ener uh, just enough weapon energy for Rush Jet to almost make it to the end, and then you fall and die. <laughs> <laughs> And you have to deal with it with infinite lives and no reset button. Yep. And your hands and are no, taped and, to the and, controller. And, and, it's the only. No, it's and, the only and, and robot no master left. <laughs> also, the block that you spawn in on disappears after two seconds, so you'll die even if you stand still. <laughs> and the music is the Sonic uh, Sonic sp uh, Spin Ball uh, options menu. Backwards. That or would make it, it sound be, uh, better, John. Now, or it could be the uh, Sonic 3 Super Sonic theme. Just, oh, just never ended. <laughs> both of those... <laughs> no, no, no. It's, what it is, is it's both of those mashed up with the Werehog battle theme. <laughs> oh, Christ. No, not the not the entire Werehog battle theme. Just the opening... <laughs> okay, so here's a question, because I haven't played it yet. Does Sonic Mania have a Super Sonic theme? Yes, yes. it does. Uh, um, oh, but I hate it when they do that. I want it to. It's a. It's, 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 I mean, I I understand that. Said at the same time, though, the Super Sonic theme is amazing in Mania. It's, it's, it's also. It's also not three seconds long. Yeah, it's also it, not three seconds long. Yeah, yeah. it's it's longer. It's 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 a it's it's a, it's a very good theme. It's an it's a actually very excellent guitar guitar theme, which uh, might possibly be the most Sonic Adventure sounding track in the game. But we'll get to that. Yeah. I'll In fact, we're probably already doing it now. Soon. We're probably already doing it now, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Up, so. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, now that I think hey, about remember it. remember that funny thing Ted said? <laughs> I, I'm going to be talking in Sonic Mania? Cool. <laughs> Glad to know. <laughs> I think we'll have a lot to talk about. It's a very interesting game in terms of game design. I'm sure you guys will have a lot to talk about. <laughs> Why are for, you here then? You for viewer reference, this part was recorded on the day that I began recording the Raws for Sonic Mania. Gosh, yep. Lewis, I can't Sonic believe that you I can't believe you died two there. Days ago. Man, that was the worst part of the commentary is when you died at that one part. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Let the rage of the 
Titans fuel your blades, Kratos. What the hell? Yeah, the, the, she's telling you to let the Rage of the Titans fuel your blades, Ryan. Ryan, why aren't you doing that? They're just it? dogs. <laughs> God damn it, get angry. No, I'm good. I'm, that's, my, that's, my se that's my secret, Cap. That's my I'm, secret always secret. I'm always angry. Man, these modern games never shutting up, never letting you figure things out on the, on your own. Hey, bounce pad, Kratos. <laughs> <laughs> Those look like ramps. It's, it's, I could use like them these, as ramps. It's like these walls were built for me. <laughs> hey, look, it's another homing, homing har harpy. <laughs> oh, wait. No, that's Prince of Persia. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> Forgotten Sands had this really annoying special ability that was basically Sonic the Hedgehog's homing attack. <laughs> and What? <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was, uh, it was a special power that lets you zoom in on airborne enemies and then chain attacks from one to another. It was basically the homing attack. <laughs> I, now I imagine the prince just jump, one of jumps, curls into a ball, and then just mid-air just darts towards them with no influence from anything else. And in between every homing attack chain, does like some sort of well, cool uh, air trick. The animation looks cooler than that, but it's basically <laughs> Sonic's homing attack. So does he I ever does he ever go this. around and around in circles around one of the harpies? Yeah, just harpies. <laughs> Sadly, no. Oh, that would have been amazing.